everyone. I'm just jumping on real quick before I start the process of getting my kids ready for bed. Um, I'm going to do some um, water slide applications. So right now I'm going to be putting my logo on the bottom of these two cups. Um, I use water slide for my logo because it's very easy. Um, I got Dahlia water slide transparent decal paper and this is for light colored tumblers not uh, dark colored. You'll want white uh, water slide paper for your dark tumblers like your wood grains and you know like the bottom of this would need a white versus a, uh, a transparent. This is my I'm royally messed up cup and this is my constant reminder of what I did wrong on that tumbler. So I used the Dahlia Water Slide Transparent decal paper. I got it from Amazon in a pack of 25. I do not remember the price. To seal it, I used Rust-Oleum Acrylic Enamel Gloss Crystal Clear. And I spray, I print them out on my inkjet printer. So these are my logos. Um, and so I'll print them out on my printer in my house and then I take them outside I spray them very quickly across the whole thing to uh, seal it in. I let it dry and then I do it again. And this stuff dries really quick. Like, uh, da, 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 da. it doesn't even say. It says dries to the touch in 20 minutes, but usually it dries a lot faster for me. Um, I try to get my water slides done ahead of time, and I usually leave them on my tumbler for overnight before I uh, epoxy over them. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, I cut out my water slides individually. It's just easier on me. So I'm going to cut out my water slide decals. And I just go in a circle around my logo because that's the shape of the bottom of the cup. So it's going to go on the bottom of the cup. And then I have a Pyrex dish of water. So the Pyrex dish of water, I take my, lo my water slide and I'm going to put... We're in my garage, so don't mind the mess behind me. It's... It's uh, finally warming up around here, so maybe I can get in here and actually clean it. So what I do is, when you put your water slide decals in water, they will curl up. So you want to hold both ends down for at least 20 seconds. So, And I usually just count out loud or in my head. and it won't curl up after that and then I just let it float for another 40 seconds and I prep the bottom of my tumbler so I have my dry rag here and what I do is I just take some water out of the Pyrex and I put it on the bottom of the tumbler that I'm applying it to and this helps me be able to maneuver it easier so I'm gonna move y'all over to the tumbler hopefully you can see what I'm doing so about 40 seconds have passed, so now I'm going to check my water slide. I'm going to bring it over to here. I let it drip a little bit, and then I'm just going to test it. See if, and it does slide off. You see how it's sliding off? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the paper with the water slide on there. I'm going to hold the water slide over here, and I'm going to very gently pull it off of that backing paper. And once I do that, I get rid of that backing paper and now I get it to where I want it, which I want it to face the other way because the front of my cup is towards me. And then I'm going to squeeze out, that's where the dry rag comes in, I want to get all that excess water off. And then for my flat surfaces, I use my little scraping tool and it helps me make sure all of those water bubbles and air bubbles are out from underneath. And then I'll take my dry, my dry rag again and I'll push down again. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much, it's not really moving, very slightly moving, but it's on there. And now I'll put this on my turner and let it sit. 
or actually this is gonna go into my house on my dryer drying rack and I'll let it sit for the time being and I'm going to cut out my next one and I'll walk you guys through it again now water slides are probably so much easier to me than my than vinyl some people do prefer vinyl I, I like the look of the water slides um, I'm actually creating a cup for my uh, Cub Scouts um, pack that my son is in. So I just actually did a real quick Cub Scout thing for his uh, pack. I'm gonna create a tumbler because uh, our committee chair wanted to make gifts for the end of the school year. So I was gonna play with that and see how it looked. So once again, I'm going to take this water slide. I'm gonna hold both ends under water for 20 seconds, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And you'll see it curl up a very tiny bit as long as it doesn't like roll. That's what you wanna prevent is the rolling. Now, after that, I'm gonna prep the top of my tumbler by bringing a small amount of water and just kind of putting it over the bottom of the tumbler just to so I can slide my decal around more easily. Let the decal sit in the water for about 40 more seconds. They say it works better when you have warm water, but honestly, I don't see a difference between warm water and cool water. Um, they, they've all turned out the same. Like this one right here is not moving now. It's very flat. It's flush to the bottom of my tumbler. Um, looks good so I'm very happy with it and now I'm gonna take this one out I'm gonna see if it's ready and it is see how it's sliding off of there but I'm gonna keep the paper underneath it and I'm gonna hold down on the decal and I'm gonna very slowly and very gently work my paper out from underneath it and you want to make sure you're doing it slowly because you don't want to tear your water slide so, because they do tear very easily. I learned that the hard way. I do not like that I learned that the hard way, but I, I did learn it the hard way. And then I'll take my little tool and I'll scrape out any bubbles that I see and I'm gonna straighten it one more time. And then one more good press with my dry rag. And there we are. It's all set, all ready to go. So. Now the tumbler is complete. So, and this water slide was actually put on a few hours ago. So t these both will go on my drying rack inside the house overnight. And tomorrow I will put a, what I hope to be their final layer of epoxy on them. Um, this one right here has some pretty little pimples on it that I'm going to have to take my X-Acto knife to. But has a couple of them actually. Um, this cup actually somehow fell off my turner last night and it didn't get ruined, but this morning, whenever I checked it out on my dry, drying rack, it had these little pimples and I think it's from when it fell off of my turner because it, I don't know how long it had been fallen. All I know is that for the most part, it looked really good except for the occasional pimple. So I can work with that. This one right here is almost smooth across the bottom. There is that occasional rough patch. One more layer of epoxy will take care of that and then it's good to go. So water slide decals are on the bottom. Water slide decals are on it. If y'all have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I'll be uploading this tutorial to YouTube as well. So have a great night.